Hi guys, uh, my name is Krutin Patel. I am attending Georgetown High School. I just graduated this spring and I'm going to attend uh, uh, US, uh, University of Texas at San Antonio in this upcoming fall 2020 to pursue a degree in computer science uh, as my major. And a little bit of myself and my family is I moved to um so i'm the youngest of the fa family i have three sisters uh and i have uh three nephews and one niece and about myself i and my family we moved to united states uh uh, uh in two, 2005 uh to to gain knowledge and have have a better opportunity in life and to have a better education, that was my, not my goal, but uh, it was in the future and still is. But my main, that main goal came from my family, my mom and dad, who did not speak English fluently because we, it was really hard for them to communicate. But as years went on, we got to understand and experience more by spending more time with different people and understand them and how they understand us. So I, from my my uh, point of view, from my life, I was uh, I was four when I moved to United States. I did not understand how to speak English uh, as a foreign person because I didn't understand my native language too because I was four back then when I moved to United States. So it was really hard for me to communicate more with my teachers and my friends too back in the, um, when I was very young. Um, so, in 2005, uh, we moved to a, sm a town called Weatherford, Texas by Fort Worth, and we spent there about, I think roughly around 12, and th 12 or 13 years. And, and we moved to uh, Georgetown, Texas around, I think probably 2014 or 2015, I still don't remember at all very much, uh, but uh, because my sister, my third older sister, she, she got admitted to University of Texas at Austin, so we moved to Georgetown, Texas. So as for me, I I moved to Georgetown in Benoda as a sense creator, um, in sense grade, but before that, I, uh, due to my weakness in, uh, to communicate, uh, to communicate more better with people, my friends, I had learned this ability with my reading and writing as well as speech. So I was here back twice. So, but when I was here back twice, I got to, um, when I heard back twice in first grade, I got to to understand, had more opportunity to experience more around people to understand how to properly communicate with them because English was very hard for me because, um, as well as my native language because I didn't understand how to speak my native language. So I'm basically as a beginner. So, but as my move to United States, I had to, I had to very, very fast speak English to understand more. So it was very tough for me because I had to like understand more around people around me to see what, what are they trying to say. So um, I had like problems saying different type of words like if they, there, then, all those basic type of words. I didn't have to like, it was very hard for me to say those type of words when I was very young. So, but as years went on and progress became very good for me, I got to improve my speech, my English, but I still had weakness with my reading and my writing. So, but that weakness, I'm trying to prevent that from from going to do bad things for me in the future. So I'm trying to like um, improve it, improve my weakness. That's my goal uh, around the future too. So, uh, so due to everything that's going on right now, due to the COVID nineteen, uh, my life, 
did not change really much. It just that uh, I did have like, like, that to have the opportunity to uh, to finish high school because I had to finish it online, and I didn't ha even though I did not have the opportunity to do it at school because all the school was closed, and family members cannot come to students' graduation at all because of the plane issue the the um, COVID-19 that's going on that's been harming everyone too that's been affected by it so we they try to keep us safe so yeah but it's been really hard for me because I didn't have uh it prevent uh, prevent for me to not spend time with family from out of state uh but I did to like communicate more over the phone FaceTime them uh uh, on my phone or on my laptop, and it was really fun too. Spending time with family that's all out of state that cannot come to my graduation. Um, that's how I've been staying connected with families too. So, what what is and concerns I have for this upcoming, uh, for for the beginning of my college days is that I wouldn't have time to spend time with friends. Uh, I'm going to miss my family too, but that's right. But because they're still going to be with you no matter what, in your heart, in your mind, everywhere. Because you're going to think of them every day, no matter what. So, uh, we, even though you can, uh, Dana, but we can have the opportunity to visit them, uh, visit them if we like to. Uh, that's my uh concerns is that I'm going to miss my family more, seeing my friends. Uh, the adults that have been that have impacted me in my life from beginning to right now always been my family. It's no matter what, they have been spending. Uh, they've been encouraging me to do better in my future. Uh, they've been helping me to uh, improve my weakness in my reading and my writing too, and had to properly improve my gamma uh, gamma. Uh, grammar and my uh in my reading too in my writing uh and my plans for my upcoming future is uh to to be part of UTSA as first year one whole year and transfer to UT Austin um to uh as a sophomore be, uh, to maintain a GPA of a 3.8, that's the minimum. So I had to go higher than that by taking like uh, calculus, uh, computer science, programming one, programming two, calculus two, uh, a lot of advanced science classes two, uh, programming classes as well to help me strengthen my uh, my skills and as becoming a computer programmer. Because the thing is, I my goal is to transfer to Austin, University of Texas at Austin, because they have an amazing five years program, master's program, where I can get both my bachelor's and degree, uh, bachelor's and master's at the same time, same time in five years, and that's my main goal as and my future dream as well. So to end the closure of this, I want to say thank you to the Georgetown Project Board of Directors and the scholarship committee to no nominate me for the Barbara Scholarship. And I want to say thank you for your time. Uh, and I, I hope you have a wonderful uh, summer break as well to spend time with family as well as well as I do. And have a and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much and thank you for this great opportunity. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Jenkins. I attend Eastview High School and I plan to attend Texas State University. I plan to study in art and business. I am one of four siblings. I have a total of six people in my family. Three of my siblings are adopted, including myself. Due to the pandemic, my older brother and I have lost all of our jobs. All of my siblings and I had online school until the end of the school year. My dad is working from home since he cannot travel and my mom continues to do her work from the pharmacy. Since school was closed due to the pandemic, I have been keeping myself busy with taking care of our animals and running errands. I am a bit sad that I wasn't able to have prom since it was canceled, 
but I was able to have a graduation ceremony, which we didn't know if we were going to have or not. I'm able to connect with my friends and family through social media, letters, and FaceTime. Due to college orientation being canceled and moving to online videos, I'm a bit worried as I won't get a feel for my campus and my surroundings. I had plans to meet up with my roommate so we could learn more about each other and explore the campus. On the other hand, I get to spend more time with my family and have more time to prepare to, my, to move into my dorm. I would like to mention and thank my parents and family and friends. Everyone is helping me go through such a tough time. I especially want to mention how grateful I am for the people who set up the Adopter Senior Program. Close friends and adults are helping me prepare for my college by gifting me items I would need to live by. I'm keeping myself happy by taking care of our animals, working out and spending time with my family. Even if it is just going for a walk with my dogs and family in the park or hiking at, at Lake Georgetown. My plans for the future are to graduate from college and create my own business. I would love to own a shop that is a two-story building, the first floor containing books, comic books, and a cafe. The second floor would be my studio, where people could find my artwork, handmade cosplays, and view my work area. I would like to thank the Georgetown Project for the scholarship and the board members for supporting the students in the community. I'm already overwhelmed by the list I'm receiving from college, and this scholarship is going to be a great help. Hi, I'm Serena Carreño, and I attend or attended Resharte High School as we just had our graduation this past Friday. And I will be attending Angelo State University this fall, majoring in animal science. Working with animals has always been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. I've always got super excited going to the zoo. Um, and I really do think that animal science is the best way for me to go. Prior to COVID-19, I've been working at Soup Pet Hospital slash boarding facility as a sweet tech. So I would work with all the dogs and cats. And sometimes we had hamsters and bunnies, a bunch of animals that would stay overnight or come for daycare. And I would feed them, um, take them out, just make sure they're comfortable and getting what they need. Since COVID-19, I haven't been able to work in a couple months. And so everything's been kind of boring. Well, since the whole pandemic, um, I've been mainly home all day, every day. If not here, I go to visit my dad. And most of the time it's just me alone half the day as my mom is always working. Her and my older sister both work at Lone Star Circle of My Care. ultimate dream is to be able to travel the world and work with the big like exotic animals. Just, you know, like animals that you wouldn't usually have as a pet. I would like to maybe work at um, a rehab for those animals, help them get back to the, uh, the wild. For sure, something with exotic animals. I think that's all I've dreamt of and now it's gonna happen and I couldn't be any more grateful. One question I have for you is, what made you pick me for the scholarship? I am so very grateful for it. I couldn't thank you enough, but it does have me wondering, out of a lot of people, I'm assuming, why me? Thank you for this opportunity and for helping not just me, but so many more kids out there with their dreams of finally going and pursuing what they want to do as I am. Thank you. My name is Ashley Reed. I used to go to Georgetown High School and this fall I will be attending Abilene Christian University where I will be double majoring in political science and education. A little bit about me and my family is I have one younger sibling named Evan and he is going into the eighth grade. My mom is a stay-at-home mom, one of my biggest supporters, as well as my dad and he is the assistant city manager of Georgetown, Texas. 
at the very beginning of all of this, I thought that spring break was only going to be three weeks. And I already thought that that was such a long time to be away from school because I just love going to school and learning. But the time spent in quarantine has been really essential to self-reflection and getting things done. Lately, to keep myself busy, I've been playing the ukulele, I've been watching movies, I'm a big movie buff. One of the things that I'm trying to focus more on is writing my novel. I was writing it for my capstone class during school, and so I'm continuing that into the summer. The only concerns that I really have for going back to school in the fall is that I actually won't go back to school in the fall because I don't think a vaccine will have been released by then. I'm trying to stay positive and not think about that and instead focus my efforts and attention on what I can do to stay safe for myself and then everyone else around me. I definitely believe that whatever I do as my profession will involve some sort of service to others because that's one of the things that is most important to me and I've learned is most important to me through volunteering for the past four years of my high school career. So some of the things I've been thinking about are working for nonprofit organizations, going into educational administration, or possibly being an elected official and working with public policy. On the side, I'd also love to make documentaries about issues that I think are really important. Um, I've always made films, and so that's kind of an important skill that I wanna take into whatever I may do. To close this video, I just wanna give all of my gratitude and thanks to the Georgetown Project Board of Directors and Scholarship Committee. This scholarship is really going to help me in my higher education and take some financial strain off of my family and me so that I can really focus on my education and participating in study abroad and also taking internships instead of having to worry about working as much. And also just a big thank you to the Georgetown Project and everything you do for our community. Um, I was at the Youth Summit this year and it was a really eye-opening and wonderful event. I think everything that you guys are doing is essential to this community. And thank you for this scholarship. It is definitely making my higher education more affordable for me and my family, so thank you. Well, my name is Phil Porley. I plan to start as an incoming freshman for this August at Kansas State University. My declared major is psychology with a minor in criminal justice. My goal is to join law enforcement after I finish my commission as an army officer. And even as the pandemic has occurred, it hasn't changed life for me too much. For example, my parents have always been able to work from home if necessary. And we didn't go out much anyways. And we still do things around the house like normal. So the situation hasn't brought us any closer or any driven us further apart because we're as tight as our family can be. And we will talk and we talk with others over FaceTime as well as text each other. And we still celebrate events with one another and doing it remotely and we can do so without work. Though I didn't go out often, I enjoyed seeing movies and going and eating out in nice restaurants. And I am now taking a bigger part in managing things around the house. And I even taught my dad a few things about cooking since I had culinary arts last year. And one big challenge for me has been going to uh, wait for DPS to be open so I can renew my driver's license. And Prom. That was one huge thing I was looking forward to, but I'm a little sad that it was canceled. And it would have been fun to do at least one uh, senior prank before I graduated. And as I go forward, I one huge concern for me would be thinking, hey, will, will everything be back to normal by the time college starts in August? And I, I don't really know that, and I, I wish I did. So I will make plans as best as I can. Thank you for your time. Okay, uh, my name is Joel Zua. Uh, I graduated from high, uh, Georgetown High School. Uh, I hope to go to Temple College to study to be an EMT and get my certificate because I really, ever since an EMT came here at the Nest, I have been wanting to 
I got interested into the job and I wanted to save people's lives, like be on the scene, be the person people call, and I want to go do that. Uh, ever since COVID started, uh, it's kind of been hard because I actually like going to my lessons. So I've been struggling a lot with the uh, online uh, internet stuff. Um, it's hard to get out and around with it it's all going on. That's it, right? Mm. My name is Javon Marquise Wilson. I go to Eastview High School and I am enrolling to Texas State Technical College. <sighs> Since the coronavirus, COVID-19, hit, I've been indoors a lot longer than I should be, and I've lost a lot of, of weight, maybe due to the stress that has been going on through this whole entire pandemic. Nevertheless, I have been continuing forward with my life. As events curl out during this time of many people suffering, people dying, I've been trying to enjoy life with my family that I have around me, with the entertainment provided by the world. During these times, many people have still been helping my family out, and I offer a great amount of gratitude to them. For my plans for the future, I plan to become a bakery. <laughs> I plan to have a bakery. I plan to be a great baker to at least get around some joy around maybe some small towns, including Georgetown. My concerns for the next few months are what everybody would expect. COVID-19 and the current rights, safety of my family. For now, I've been enjoying what has been given to me, being able to relax, enjoy uh, the inside life with my family, and keep myself as healthy as possible. For what to come with the future, nobody truly knows. But the only path that I'm trying to choose is to become a baker in a peaceful town. <laughs>